and hi there guys welcome to a lolsis video featuring me squirrel and i'm going to be covering the patch notes for 5.23 i'm not going to cover all of them i'm just going to cover some of the uh more important ones in my opinion hunter's talisman now i know i didn't do a video on 5.22 because hen's channel didn't exist then but i criticized hunter's talisman at nearly every chance i got They've increased the burn damage by 5. R right. I still don't, like, I'm still not going to pick this. I'm going to be complete. I don't think I'm going to honestly pick this over a machete, even on AP junglers. Honestly. Because it just doesn't do anything. It just doesn't. Like, I don't need, like, yes, I guess on certain, some champions, if you're going through the jungle first clear, you might need mana regen. But when you stop, when most, like, champions that need mana and maybe even some CDR for early first clear, you're usually going to start your blue buff which does that for you anyway, so Hunter's Talisman, man, you're just better off going Machete for the lifesteal and all all the stay plus the actual damage on basic attacks that I believe it gives, could be wrong, don't quote me, but yeah I just don't see the worth in, in this change. Refillable Potion though however, it's going to give an extra 25 health per charge and its duration lasts for 10 seconds. Now, I'm very curious now that I might try this because I still used to go the Machete 3 health potions. I didn't go refillable because on certain junglers, since this only holds 2 charges, I believe it still only holds 2 charges. You, It was very risky for some junglers to take this because you couldn't actually still do your first clear. That combined with the smite timing being off, it honestly didn't help. So I think now that I believe the smite timing's been fixed, it might show us further on down in these patch notes and it now heals for more and a longer duration. This might actually be better. And also as you can see here, they are removing the boot enchantment called Home Guard. And Home Guard is the one when you buy it and go back to base and you've been out of combat for a certain amount of time, you automatically get full health, full mana, and you can speed out of base to defend. Usually most people tend to buy this, like if like if your base is getting completely wrecked, like quickly buy Home Guards, rush out, kill them, get a counter push going, that type of thing, but now the item isn't there anymore. So you might be thinking, What's going to happen? Well, we'll find out whenever we continue through the patch notes. Okay, the Global Home Guard. We've talked about this already. I'll see it got removed. So you are now going to have more options. I believe there's only four other enchants you have. Alacrity, Fuhrer, Captain, and Distortion. I believe those are the four boot enchantments that are left in the game. I don't know if they're going to change any of them or if they're going to add another one to replace Home Guard. But as you can see here, starting at 20 minutes, all champions will receive the home guard buff when they return to the fountain. They've lessened the initial haste a bit and the healing and mana per tick. And they've increased the combat locker just so Yes, it's a it's still technically a slight nerf, but the fact that you get this by default on every champion in the game at 20 minutes, I like. It's gonna be interesting to see how this affects gameplay because now people are gonna be forced to buy a different enchantment on their boots. Um, I for one am maybe going to look towards Alacrity or Furo just based on maybe what role I'm playing but I might test that out and see how it goes and then people are thinking but this is a Karthus buff no damage the enemies over 5000 range away outside your base give or take no longer triggers the home guards combat lockout which is fantastic jungle bits now jungle bits Krog and Grom like they've pretty much like they've upped it by well I say up it by 5 they've made it easier to kill the large Krogs, the Grom, both both buffs if you're an AP jungler. Because obviously last patch, I still think it's mainly going to be AD jungler focused, but AP junglers, along with the Rune Glaive nerfs, the price increases, they just kind of fell out in the jungle and it made it really hard with a clear. So hopefully the, these changes should affect how AP junglers can do the first clear and might start coming back in. I still think at least Regardless of whether these changes have happened or not, would still be a good pick. But you might see the more likes, you might see, let's see, who else is AP jungler that you actually tend to play? You might have, you might see a tiny bit more Evelyn coming in, because then Evelyn might not get the absolute crap kicked out of her. You might see more Nidalee, so like Elise, Evelyn, and Nidalee, like three AP junglers that we might see more of. It would be nice, honestly. I like, I like using AP junglers, quote unquote, not an Elise main. Ah, and then the, cha the change that I really wanted, well, this particular part, Spite, Smite now begins charging at 125 rather than 130, so you should have it for your third camp, hooray, 
but it also charges five seconds faster so you should definitely have this for your third clear regardless of whether you go gromp blue wolves then red buff in case you want to use on the red buff not the wolves but if you just go like me sometimes gromp blue red you should definitely have it for red buff and the fact that it now charges faster might just give you that little advantage of you might sometimes think oh i'm not gonna smile i can't contest this baron this dragon or if you still go chilling smile i can't i don't have smite to chill the target etc etc so nice change i'm happy that i finally did this jungle others seem a bit more normal now <laughs> and now probably one of the like here in my opinion are the two possibly you can see there are three biggest changes of the patch now as you might have known in 5.22 or not once the once one team got a, a, a tiny 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 snowball like if one lane like got killed say top lane versus like say the top lane one versus one you lost one kill then you lost another one so you're two you're two zero down in that lane effectively your enemy champions probably at this point two levels above you given or take how much they can push out of lane but this allowed people to snowball very 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 easily because like you've seen games maybe end in 20 25 minutes max level 13s to level 18s it just wasn't fun at getting at, like i'm okay with getting stomped by a better team but I wasn't okay with getting completely stomped because I'm four levels below the opponent, even though I've only died once or twice to my lane opponent, maybe three times max. Because in the old patches, even if you were down three kills to none in lane, you were still able to farm and, and like come back into the game and contest objectives. But you can't do that if you're like five levels behind every person on the enemy team. It just didn't happen. So you now fifty percent of a full level for killing an equal level champion. And it used to be 60. So we see they've reverted it back to what it was before they changed it in 5.22. That's if this is that's effectively what they've done. So thank God for that. Unit collision. Holy! I was so annoyed at this, and I mainly noticed this in bot lane. When I was in bot lane trying to get CS, and then if my support managed to say hook somebody or stun somebody, and I wanted to go into fault for damage, any time if I was like Lucian, for example, and I wanted to like dash forward and do some damage or even do my Q, I found that like it made me walk the entire way to either the left or the right of the minion wave, because usually I believe you used to be able to literally just, you couldn't, you could, you could walk just through the minion wave, you literally couldn't do that, so like unit collision was stopping people from either getting kills, escaping death, it was like even getting like CS on like either the front, the back, the left or the right of your wave was not near the next impossible, but it was taking the piss because you actually like, you physically couldn't get there, and it was absolutely ridiculous. So they've now changed it from plus 15 model size on the minion collision buffer to plus 20 percent. Hopefully, it'll make uh, make things much much better. And then the champion collision buffer is now it used to be plus 15 percent model size. It's now none. It is like now none. That is probably the bigger change out of these two. I'm honestly hoping it just fixes it. I don't know why this suddenly appeared in this patch. In my opinion, it really shouldn't have. But I guess it kind of fits in with the next change that they were trying to do. So, like, they tried to do one thing, kind of buggered up unit collision, but hey, what can you do? So, minion pushing. They were covered in 5.22 patch notes, even though the change didn't actually go in. So, they're just going to reiterate what they already said. They use your advantage and push in for the win or give your opponents the means to come back it's a fairly simple concept but it does fundamentally change how lane dynamics work so as you can see here in this important note these changes won't be turned on immediately in 5.23 they're looking to get data to see how games play before and after the change to see whether they like it or not and math homework oh you're fucking kidding me right let's see so team level advantage the average level of your team minus the le average level of the enemy team not total levels and not necessarily hashtag claim numbers max team level advantage oh, fuck me look i'm gonna be completely honest i don't want to do math um i'm not great at this but from what i can gather is they're trying to change the way wave manipulation works because obviously in lcs plays and stuff sometimes they also get they gather a big wave. They want a three v one dive bot, four v one dive bot, that kind of shit. I believe like or if you want to like quote unquote freeze a wave to put your opponent behind. These changes are effectively going to change how that's possible or maybe not possible at all. 
Again, I'd have to do the math or, like, again, capture some footage, which I might do later on, and see uh, how this change works. But if somebody wants to feel free to do math here and see what happens, by all means, feel free to do it. I don't want to. And now, promo helper. Now, I, for one, well, me personally, like, I'm going to be honest, I'm not... Like, I'm gold 4 currently. Like, I was gold 4... Whenever the season ended, I could have climbed and got a bit higher, but time prevented me from doing so. I was just happy to get the gold and get the rewards. But we've all been we've all been there no matter what rank you are, Smurf, whatever, you're gonna get a promotion, you win say you win your first game, then you're like, Oh, you need to win one out of two games or you've won say two out of five, you need to win one more, one out of five, etc. And then it all goes to shit, and then you lose it and you go back to seventy five points or you get demoted or anything like that. Luckily, Promo Helper is being tested, I believe, in this patch now. So, for example, if you are going from goal 3 to goal 2, so you need to, so the way it works, you'll, you currently need to win 2 out of 3 games. Say you failed that, so say you won 1, lost 1, then lost the third one, for example. You'd be put down to maybe set anywhere from maybe 70 to 80 points. Then, say you got back into that promotion series again. From what I can understand, your first game is automatically a win. Which means you will have two games left. You will just need to win one of those two games. So they're effectively making it easier for you to get promoted by automatically giving you one win in your series. That's effectively what that is, from what I can understand. But also, they're trying to help people, like, for example, if you, they're trying to help people climb back up if you happen to get demoted so so as you can see here it says promo helper only applies when you're in division gold below gold one so this only works from bronze five to gold one if you're gold one trying to go for plat five that's not going to work it also says if you lose promotion series next time that series will start with a win and it can stack twice for tier so i believe that means so as i said in my first example that's if you go in from gold say three to two Tier, I believe. No, I could be completely wrong. I assume I tend to get these mixed up sometimes. But if you're going from say silver one to gold five, you fail it once, get back in it, you'll have one win. If you fail it again, go into it a third time, you'll have two wins. So you'll only need to get one win in three games to go up to gold five. Very nice change. I think it'll help people a lot. But again, I'm afraid, sadly, if you're gold one or higher, this won't help you at all because it's not designed for you. And then. Again, it'll always, it'll always grant max win credits for any series you've previously passed, which is nice. And any bonuses will be reset at the beginning of the 2016 rank season. So as I've said, this is being tested in this patch to see how they want it to work. They might tweak it, they might not tweak it. But personally for me, if I'm wanting to go, if I'm wanting to go from gold 4 to gold 1, this will actually probably help me a lot. But yeah, I hope this video has helped you guys. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video that I make, whichever that may be. Hint, hint. Maybe... An AD carry video. Ooh. No, I, I honestly don't know what it'll be. I'm just kind of teasing you at this point. But if you're liking this, I'm always welcome to feedback, post your comments, like the video, subscribe if you're enjoying it, and spread the word. I hope to do more videos. So thank you guys, and I shall see you all next time. Bye bye.